Right, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Isabel Reynolds from Bloomberg News. Um, I'm delighted to welcome today our special guest, uh, Governor Yuriko Koike, who probably needs no introduction. But um, I also have with me uh, at the table today our president, Peter Langen, who will have a few words to say in a second, and our wonderful interpreter, uh, Mary Joyce. So, uh, Peter, if you'd like to say your piece. Yes, um, also a very warm welcome. Uh, good morning from me to everybody. Um, I just want to say a very quick few words that um, the governor last spoke uh, at the Foreign Correspondents Club in our previous um, residence, which was in Urakacho, and uh, I just wanted to be here to uh, say a big thank you to her for coming today with, to our, our new uh, FCCJ. Um, I think she sets a, a good example to many of Japan's political leaders to come and uh, speak here and get their message out to the foreign media. So, thank you. Okay, thanks, Peter. Just a, a few notes before we start. Could you please put your phones on silent mode? Um, if you are taking photographs from your seat, please don't get into the aisles and get in the way of the other photographers and uh, video cameras at the back. Um, also, unfortunately, today we have no live streaming. Um, so if you're in the room, you're highly privileged. Um, but the footage will be uploaded on the website later on. Now, our, our guest today, uh, Governor Koike, we know as someone who has smashed the glass ceiling in many senses during her career, serving as Japan's first female defense minister and also as the first female governor of Tokyo. Um, she has many other achievements under her belt, not least of which, in my opinion, actually, is the introduction of Cool Biz, um, a different way of dressing for Japanese businessmen, which has uh, made a lot of people more comfortable <laughs> over the years, I think. Um, but she's here today to talk about a lot of things going on in Tokyo. Obviously, we have the Olympics and Paralympics coming up, um, and we have her plans uh, for attracting more financial firms to Tokyo to make it a competitive regional financial center. Um, koike san will be talking in English, giving a presentation in English for about 20 minutes. After that, we'll be uh, taking questions in either language uh, with interpretation. So, uh, koike san That's all? Very good. And thank you so much, uh, Isabel, for a nice introduction. And thank you very much for the invitation, Peter. And this is my very first time uh, after the FCCJ moved from Yurakcho to this new place. It's, it's so wonderful. And I just heard that the restaurant uh, was very much improved. So uh, <laughs> every time I'm 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 uh, um, I'm invited here, I usually have a membership card as you ha that you do have, and inviting me for, for for lunch or dinner, and let's let's enjoy Italian food. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, by, by um, and. Uh, <clears throat> And I would like to thank you all for gathering here today. And I had the honor of speaking before the FCCJ. Uh, that was uh, almost a year and a half ago. And I'm just honored for the opportunity to today, today to speak you again. So please have a look of, of this uh, slide to here, right and left. And uh, I'm going to tell you what's going on in Tokyo and what uh, uh, Tokyo is going to 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 prepare for the 2020 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games as well as in, uh, this September we're going to host uh, the uh, Rugby World Cup many events to come here in Tokyo so this year His Majesty the Emperor of Japan will abdicate the throne to his Imperial Highness the Crown Prince Naruhito setting the stage for a new era and Tokyo is thus poised for dramatic change as we gear up for the Rugby World Cup in September as I told you and the Olympic and Paralympic Games in, in Tokyo 2020 and these two major events will serve as a springboard to transform our city. And this year, 2019, will be key in making those games a success and an ushering in a new Tokyo. 
But the metric for success will not be limited to just the competition itself. We want to lead Japan beyond 2020, change the way Tokyo thinks, and transform our society. And in doing so, create a city that will be a model for the world. And across the globe, uh, uncertainty abounds. The the uh, uh, in Asia, uh, Chinese economy is slowing down, and Britain grapples with Brexit and etc. etc. Et and nevertheless, sustainable growth that balances economic economics, society, and the environment remains essential. And I believe that cities must lead the way for the rest of the world. And I'm honored to serve as vice chair in the C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group and participate in other forums uh, uh, that have affirmed for me the increasingly important roles cities play on the global stage. As I have spoken on before, uh, since becoming governor, I have focused on creating a new Tokyo that is three cities in one. A safe city, a diverse city, or diversity change from C to S, or uh, the, the vice versa, and a smart city. In 2019, I will work to strengthen Tokyo's urban power through a uh, focus on three keys, three key pillars. The first of these pillars is urban resilience, making our city tougher, for example, through action on climate change. The second pillar is increased earning potential, which will ultimately drive Japan's overall economy. And the third pillar is connecting people from many walks of life to support and empower each other. In the current era of population aging and decline, it is vital in achieving sustainable growth for the capital city of Tokyo and other regions in Japan to develop together as partners, respecting each other's individuality and strength. And um, in, in, in Japanese, kyozon kyoe and aiming to expand the size of Japan's economic economy pie overall. Tokyo and Osaka both will host global mega events in the near future with the 2020 Games here in the capital and the 2025 World's Expo slated for Osaka and the Kansai region. To leverage these events towards achieving greater urban power for our cities and sustainable growth for Japan, Tokyo and Osaka plan to for form a cooperative community. Tokyo is a city of vast potential that brings together a concentration of people, goods, money, and information. Now, I hope to learn on these amazing strengths to return Tokyo to its place as a world-leading global financial city again. Near the close of 2017, we signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation and Exchange in Finance Fields with the City of London, leading to our joint hosting of the Green Finance Seminar in Tokyo and an, an additional finance seminar in London. In fact, I just met with the Lord Mayor of the City of London last week to exchange ideas and affirm our mutual commitment to future cooperation in the re range of, of fields. Further, in order to promote Tokyo worldwide as a financial hub city, I aim to create a finance, finance promotion organization made up of both public and private representatives. Maybe you, uh, some of you uh, may remember that I was a, a journalist uh, and uh, I was a news presenter uh, every night from Monday to Friday on financial and business uh, news. That, uh, and the, the, the program is still uh, popular uh, and is called World Business Satellite. I'm the very first presenter. In terms of ESG investment, last year, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government issued 20 billion yen in green bonds. The capital raised will be used for smart energy, urban development, and 
on environmental features for the facilities of the Tokyo 2020 Games. And since Tokyo began issuing green bonds, private other private corporations have followed the lead with green bonds of their own. I'm proud that we are taking the lead in the in in uh, in invigorating Japan's green bond market, which is now expanding. We recently established the Tokyo Financial Awards, and this month presented the prizes to financial services companies supporting the advancement of ESG. Of course, you know, E for environment, S for sustainability, and G for uh, gov uh, 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 governance. And services meeting ESG and services uh, meetings, meeting citizens' needs. Four entities took ho home awards in the ESG investment category. Among them was New, uh, Newberger Berman, a company with a nearly 80-year-old track record in ESG investing. We plan to continue supporting businesses like this in the future. When we when I started to, to prepare for the, this Tokyo Financial Awards, including ESG Awards, well, people say, well, what is ESG and what is the SDG and, and so on, just a, a couple of years, only a couple of years ago. But I think uh, the, the, those ESG, SDG, so many three letters <laughs> uh, um, organization or, or, or movement are going on, but uh, these um, categories are now well understood uh, uh, amongst the, the people of the society. This is what I think. Measures that support economic growth while reducing environmental load, like ESG investment, will be vital for the society of the future. Tokyo's energy consumption, despite gross product within the city trending upwards, is on the decline, a clear indication that Tokyo's efforts towards sustainable growth have been paying off. Ensuring uh, this trend continues, uh, continues necessities proactive measures. Tokyo is working to reduce greenhouse emissions by 30% compared to 2000 levels by 2030. Next fiscal year, as one policy towards this, we plan to introduce the T Tokyo Zero Emissions Points program to further encourage energy conservation in households. This program will give citizens Tokyo Zero Emissions Point that can be exchanged for goods vouchers for purchasing an energy efficient replacement air air conditioner, refrigerator, or, 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 or water heater. The emissions cut via these products will also be donated as offset credits, credits toward the 2020 Games. The All E100 initiative also continues to grow. Uh, this initiative is spread-headed by private businesses looking to achieve business practices that utilize 100% renewable energy, and the Tokyo Metropolitan Government strongly agrees with this philosophy. With the intent to inspire by example, we will begin our plan to power the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building with 100% renewable energy next fiscal year. Now, in the 2018 World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Index, Japan uh, rated a truly shameful 110 out of 149 countries. Our standing has improved slightly over the previous year, but Japan is still the lowest ranking of G7 nations. There is clearly room for substantial improvement. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government itself is taking the initiative in promoting active participation of women and has appointed a greater number in decision-making roles. Currently, about 20% of our government's managerial roles belong to women. 
Furthermore, approximately 29% of representatives in the Tokyo Metropolitan Assembly are women, the highest ratio among prefectural as assemblies in Japan. I believe our diversity leads to a higher quality of government that better service, uh, uh, serves, as, uh, serves its people. One another recent initiative to further Tokyo's efforts in empowering women was a conference held last month that brought together women executives act active on the front lines of businesses. These women, brimming with entrepreneurial spirit, engaged in a lively debate and compiled um, a hopeful statement on Tokyo's future as shaped by women. It was very heartening. Look at Kathy. Yeah, she's she's playing a very important role to enhance Japanese women's uh, power. Now, Tokyo is home to more than 550,000 international residents, including you. And during an earthquake that occurred in another part of Japan last year, many international residents and visitors were apparently unable to obtain crucial information, which led to some confusion. To prevent a similar occurrence, uh, our government is expanding its communications with multilingual support during emergencies and conducting disaster preparedness dr preparedness drills for international residents. In the next fiscal year, we additionally plan to focus on guiding residents to prepare information with a smartphone app. And Tokyo is also helping small and medium-sized Japanese enterprises recruit international workers. We are providing these businesses with expertise on recruiting and employing non-Japanese workers, while also providing information to job seekers on working for Japanese companies. Supporting um, job matching and promoting mutual understanding between Japanese business and international employees. We fully intend to continue expanding measures necessary to ensure international residents are able to live with a sense of security. The new Toyosu market, <coughs> which helps ensure a safe and secure food supply for the <coughs> Sorry, for the people of Tokyo, opened around four months ago in October. On the first public viewing day, there were approximately 40,000 visitors, including many tourists from abroad, and the site has remained busy with visitors. Since opening, operations at the new market are proceeding smoothly, and we are working together with the local community and Toyosu traders to establish the Toyosu, new Toyosu brand, keep the market lively, and grow it into a driver for Tokyo and Japan's growth. One effort we put into action to build hype for Toyosu is the ongoing Toyosu market Oishi Saturday Marche that began in January and will run through to March. Every Saturday visitors can enjoy foods featuring ingredients from Toyosu market and purchase fresh fish, fruit and vegetables. Last Saturday we invited uh, uh, Ebizo uh, of Kabuki uh, active and we had a very good talk session. Meanwhile, the site of the former Tsukiji market will serve a new role in further enhancing Tokyo's appeal. We plan to make full use of this exceptional site's potential, and this fiscal year we will compile an urban development plan for the area to support our, cit our city's sustainable growth. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games are just a year and a half away. I think today, um, uh, 522 days to go. And March will officially bring the 500 day countdown. You can see here the current progress on the preparations for the Olympic and Paralympic venues. 
The previous Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games in 1964 left a legacy of urban infrastructure like the Tokyo Metropolitan Expressway and Shinkansen bullet train network. I intend for the 2020 Games to leave a more intangible legacy. I also intend for the 2020 Games to leave a cultural legacy and for,、uh, for, for, uh, for the Games themselves to be a celebration of culture. I go back to the,、uh, talking about the, the, what, what are the intangible legacies are.、Uh, like Nihonbashi Bridge will go into the, the, the underground so that you can enjoy more beautiful s i g h t That, that's a very historical、uh, bridge. And so that uh,、um, uh, the, the 1964、uh, legacy are all tangible. But in, for 2020 games, I try to make it intangible as possible, including、uh, utility poles and many others. Now,、um, In anticipation of 2020, Tokyo is currently holding the Tokyo Tokyo Festival program to promote Tokyo's arts and culture to people from abroad, as well as to those from other parts of Japan. Last year, in front of the Paris City Hall,、uh, an art exhibition showcasing Furoshiki Kroth,、uh, exemplary of Japanese art. Tradition and environmental awareness was well received with French audiences and French citizens. This event was a wonderful opportunity to bring Japan's culture to the world. The Tokyo Tokyo Festival will continue on with many memorable events to come.、Uh, so, this is the, the event which uh, uh, Tokyo uh, TMG uh, hosted uh, along with the city of.、Uh, Paris, uh, city, uh, city, of,、uh, city of Paris is of course our sister city, and it's a very big uh, 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 Furoshiki, um, uh, um, how, how can I say?、Um, Sarang. Sarang, yes. And you can see the, the statues are all carrying a small Furoshiki, and instead of using plastic bags, using Furoshiki is more economic. More environmental friendly, environment friendly. Now, Tokyo also expert, expects to use cutting edge technology to welcome visit, visitors. And through to late this month, we are conducting demonstration tests of guidance and security robots in to, Toei subway stations. In addition, we are pushing forward with smooth b i t Uh, Isabel mentioned about uh, my, my, one of my achievements as, as, uh, as a minister of the environment. The cool beers、uh, g a v e、uh, more comfortable summer days in Tokyo.、Uh, but、uh, smooth, smooth beers is another campaign that I'm, I'm, I'm taking、uh, the uh, initiative.、Um, Smooth Biz is a Tokyo model for new work styles and corporate action, and we will promote telework programs powered by communications technology. and Tokyo also plans to further expand off peak commuting in order to ease congestion during the games. Our hope is that as flexible work styles gain tra-、uh, traction, we will see increased productivity and greater participation for people from a more diverse range of backgrounds as a legacy of the games in our post 2020 society. I believe that Paralympics,、uh, in particular, will be a key event. That determines the success of the Tokyo 2020 Games. This will be the first time a city has hosted its second Summer Paralympics, and as the city with that honor, Tokyo aims to lead the country in strengthening barrier free standards in lodging facilities with, cities,、uh, with city ordinances. To achieve an account- accommodation environment that is easy to use. For everyone, we will implement the Open Stay Tokyo project for which we've created this logo. 
Tokyo also aims to pursue additional efforts toward broad acceptance of parasports. This logo is um, is uh, to enhance our uh, accommodations, uh, hotels, ryokan, and many others to wi widen its uh, entrance uh, doors and entrance to the bathrooms and so on. So this is one of the, the um, agenda that we have to, to achieve. Now together with the athletes, volunteers play a leading role in the games. We put out a call for approximately 80,000 games volunteers and 20,000 city volunteers and received about 204,000 and 36,000 applications respectively, exceeding expectations. And gre greater volunteerism is set to be one of the legacies of the London 2012 Olympics and I hope to instill a similar spirit in Tokyo uh, through the 2020 Games. Uh, the upcoming Games are also an opportunity to show the world a model sustainable society. As you may know, we are now taking advantage of the city's urban mine of used mobile phones and small electronics by harvesting materials for them to make around 5,000 medals in the Tokyo 2020 medal project. So far, we've received approximately 130,000 devices donated at the, at the Metropolitan Building collection boxes alone. Citizens brought all, all those old uh, phones um, all the way from their house to the Shinjuku TMG building. Then I would like to appreciate their um, uh, uh, their participation. Now the collection program will end March 31st, so we welcome your final assistance. Even your current uh, <laughs> phone can work. I'm determined to make the 2020 Games a success on many fronts to usher in a compassionate new Tokyo. One that is a model sustainable city fit to pass the, the button for Paris to create its own Olympic legacy when it hosts in 2024. The burden for tackling many issues such as sustainable de development and climate change can no longer be laid at the feet of national governments alone. Cities must take the reins in leadership, cooperate with other cities around the world, share knowledge and best practices, and take action to execute, ex execute change. As a place for city leaders to come together and collaborate, Tokyo will lead the international community and host two events in May, the Urban 20 Mayor Summit and the Urban Res Resilience Forum Tokyo, for these leaders to discuss how to achieve sustainable, inclusive societies and resilience in the face of disaster. Looking to 2020 and beyond, I have to pursue partnerships between cities in order to find solutions to a variety of economic, social, and environmental issues and achieve sustainable growth. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Governor Koike. We'll now move on to the question and answer session. Um, we'll be starting with the working press in this area here. Uh, when you come up to ask a question, please give your name and affiliation, and please make your question brief. Okay, right. Uh, おはようございます。知事、あの、今日ありがとうございました。あの、インドネシアの新聞記者なんですけども、そしてロリチャルでございます。あの、簡単な質問なんですが、あの、メダルの話ですね。あの、いつ頃発表すべきでしょうか、この
桜とかつけてるとかなんとか分かりませんのでそういうことをちょっと聞きたいですねあの知事の希望ですねよろしくお願いします。Good morning. Thank you for being here. I am a journalist from Indonesia and I have a rather simple question today. I would like to ask about the design of the Olympic medals. Approximately when the design for these medals will be announced. And if, Governor, if you have your own hopes or suggestions for the design of these medals, for example, if you would like to see the Sakura cherry blossom on them and so on. Thank you. オリンピックとあのと、えー、東京2020年大2020大会のあのデザインに関して、えー、メダルであったりボランティアの服装であったりこれはすべてあの組織委員会の方が担当しておりますでもきっと素晴らしいデザインが決まるということを楽しみにしております。In regards to the designs for the 2020 Games,、uh, the designs both for the medals and also for other items, including, for example, the uniform for volunteers,、um, is the responsibility of the Olympics Organizing Committee. However, I'm certain that they will come up with some wonderful designs, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing them. Approximately when will they be announced? So, the Society of the Olympics. が担当されておられますが、相当くない将来だと思います。ユルマス。イルギンユルマス、for、uh, BBC World Turkish Service、グナイデン、サインバシカ。<laughs> um, Tokyo may not be the oldest capital in the world, but it's surely becoming the Top elderly city, perhaps, in the world. So, what plans do you have for the recreational and other needs of the elderly, especially for sports facilities? Because we know that in Minatoku today, it takes about three months to enter a lottery to even secure a tennis court.、Um, so,、um, what are your plans for that? And the very quick second question is Istanbul was obviously the final city with Tokyo in 2020. Are you going to support Istanbul in 2032? <laughs> Thank you. BBC ワールドトルコの記者です。2つほど質問があります。まず1つ目、まあの、東京というのは世界で最も古い首都ではないんですけれども、非常に高齢化をしている首都であります。あの人口が非常にあの高齢化しているということです。東京の,、まああの高齢なあの、まあ、都民のためのスポーツなどの設備をどういうふうに、まあ、あの自治として計画をされているのかということです。例えばあの港区の場合ですと、テニスコートをあの使用するために抽選に入らなければいけませんそれがまあ3ヶ月ほどかかるということがよくあの言われているんですけれどもあの高齢化の問題そしてまあスポーツの設備などについてのまず計画を教えてくださいそして2つ目の方なんですけれどもイスタンブールがまあ最後にあの東京と一緒に2020年のオリンピックのためにあの頑張っていたんですけれども2032年の,あのイスタンブールの,あのオリンピックの美と支援されるでしょうかよろしくお願いします。あのいくつかのご質問をいただきました、東京が高齢化している中においてどのような考え方かということですが、はい、あの有名なイギリスの学者の方が2007年に日本で生まれた子どもたちは107歳まで生きるという。そういう著作があったかと思いますこれからあの100歳時代というのが現実味を帯びてきていると思います Uh, so, first of all, in regards to the issue of Tokyo as an aging capital,、uh, there was a well known scholar from the United Kingdom who、uh, announced or released some.、Uh, Results which said that the children who were born in Japan in 2007 are expected to live to the age of 107 years old. We are now entering the age where people in their hundreds is a reality. The Kore Ka Sur, Tokyo, a Kore Kara, Nisen Niju Gonen Kara, Cho Kore Ka, Doto no Yoni. えー、始まるとされていますでそのために東京はあ高齢対策ということを今から準備をしています
And it is expected that from the year 2025 is when Tokyo will enter a period of the extreme aging, shall we say. Therefore, we are now looking at what policies to put in place in the lead up to 2025 to deal with this issue. あの医療施設を整えたりそれから高齢者のための施設を整えたりというそのハードの,おあの整備とそれから先日、まあ、フレイルという言葉が今日本で使われるようになっていますがあの病気ではないけれども加齢に伴うさまざまな虚弱、えー、しかしそれをできるだけあの自助努力それから社会でもって、えー、このお快適な元気な健康寿命を伸ばすそのためのさまざまな取り組みも東京都は各市町村などを支援しています。And so we are, of course, looking at what kind of infrastructure、uh, support needs to be put in place towards this, for example, medical facilities or other facilities for the aging population, the so called hard infrastructure side of things. But as well as this, the word frail has actually started to be used in Japanese, in the Japanese context recently as well. This is referring to those people who are not necessarily ill or with any、uh, such sickness or disease, however, have various、uh, issues, weakening and so on, in relation to the process. Of aging. So, we are looking at how to support them as society to ensure that this longer、uh, lifespan can continue in a healthy way as well. 高齢化とスポーツというコンテクストで申し上げるとこれからますますあの高齢の,の方々もスポーツを楽しむきっかけになるのが2020年のオリンピック・パラリンピックだと思います。まあ、この2020年大会のためにいくつか大きな施設も作りましたあ一方で、えー、各地でさまざまなスポーツ施設が整うように、えー、各市町村なども支援していきたいと考えています。And in regards to the 2020 games, there are, of course,、uh, several large facilities which are being constructed or developed in Tokyo for the purpose of the games. However, not only this, we are also supporting the work of many of the local municipalities within Tokyo, the local wards and cities, who are also developing or enhancing their own、uh, sports and recreation facilities in the city towards this as well. えー、高齢化でもう一つ申し上げておきたいのが東京の都立の大学があります首都大学東京という,う八王子にある大学でありますがそこには新しい、えー、このコースを作ることと。と4月からあ始まりまりすそこは100歳までの方が学べる大,あの大学コースです。And one more point I would like to raise in regards to aging.、Uh, the university, or the Tokyo Metropolitan、uh, University, which is in Hachioji in the west of Tokyo, there is a new course which is being launched from April of this year, and that is actually a course where people up to the age of 100 are eligible to study. えー、そして80代の方もたあの全体で、えー、競争倍率は 6, パー、えー、6倍を超えましたあそして80代の方も何人かああの受験をされまして、えー、そのうちの何人かはあ学生として、えー、4月からあ学生さんにな,らなられます。And、uh, the competition for places in this course was very high. Actually,、uh, six times the number of people applied to join、uh, this course. Several people, even in their 80s, also sat the entrance exams to join the course at this university. And、uh, several were successful. So, from this April, we'll be actually attending the university as students. 環境大臣をやっておりましたときに、えー、できるだけ夏の間、軽装でいましょうということを提唱させていただきました、その際に多くのビジネスマンからは、あのネクタイはあ取るのは涼しくなっていいけれども、名刺は取らないでくれと、それは日本のビジネスマンのアイデンティティだからと言われたのを覚えています。
Uh, when I was a Minister of Environment and uh, when I announced the policy to introduce lighter clothing for summer, uh, many businessmen said to me, well, we appreciate not having to wear a necktie. This is much cooler, but please don't remove the business card within this. This is a fundamental part of the Japanese business culture. えー、ですからあのリタイアされた方はビジネスカードの代わりに学生証を持っていただけるようにしたいと思っています。So、to to 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 <笑>えそれからイスタンブール、えー、2032年頑張ってください。い<笑>ありがとうございます。もちろんブレクシットの今後も検討には入っておりましたが今のロンドンのシティ・オブ・ロンドンのロードメイヤーは691台そして800年を超える長い金融の歴史を持つロンドンのその地位は簡単には揺るぐことはないだろうと考えています。Uh, of course, the issue of Brexit、uh, was a consideration in regards to this.、Uh, but particularly in the case of the City of London, the Lord Mayor of the City of London is now the 690th Mayor in、uh, succession. And there is this very long history of the City of London having this financial position. This is something which I think will not be easily shaken. ブレクシットによって去っていく人もいるかもしれませんけれども、金融というロンドンの強みで、また入ってくる人もいるだろうということであります。そして、長年の蓄積と、そして世界にまたがるネットワークを有しているロンドンの力と、東京の力と連携しながら、ウィンウィンの関係を結んでいきたいと思っています。And of course, there may be some who will be leaving as a result of Brexit. However, I believe that because of the、uh, strength of London as the、well, center for the financial sector, there will also be some entering from now as well. Therefore, considering the very long years of accomplishments of the City of London and also the global network, I believe that bringing together this strength of both London and Tokyo together、uh, in coordination will form a win win partnership for both cities. ブルーンバーグの信弘と申します。今日はありがとうございます。えっと、東京のまちづくりということを考えたときにあの広大な築地の跡地がどうなっていくんだろうというのは非常に関心が高いところなんですが、まあ、あの東京都がビジョンというか素案を最近出されてパブリックコメントを求められていると思うんですが知事自身はどういう今あのプランをお持ちかというところと、えー、その素案を拝見すると大規模な、まあ、国際会議場であったりとかあの IR も一つの選択肢に入ってくるのかなという感じもするんですが。そのあたりも含めていかがでしょうか。
I am from Bluberg. When we consider the community building or city building here in Tokyo, of course the use of the former Tsukiji market site is a key issue. I believe that the Tokyo Metropolitan Government is looking towards what vision to have for this and is also uh, seeking public comments in regards to this. But I would like to ask Governor in regards to your personal plan or vision for the use of this site. If we look at the various drafts or suggestions, we can also see, for example, its use as an international conference venue or also IR as a choice for this as well. あの、uh, first of all, in regards to the immediate future use of the site at Tsukuji, at the time of the 2020 Games, uh, as the site is uh, very large, it's 23 hectares, uh, we are planning to use it as the base for uh, transportation for buses and cars and so on related to the Games. It has the capacity uh, for around 3,000 vehicles. え、そしてその大会 and in regards to how to use the site after the games have finished, uh, we have been conducting consultations with uh, various experts in regards to the uh, community building or city building for the site following this. え、丸の、あ、失礼しました。はい。え、それから、あ、医療施設なども展在をしております。あの、東京に残された、え、最高のロケーションであるというふうに認識しております。and when we consider the location of Tsukiji as well, it is of course located next to Ginza and Shinbashi. Immediately next to it is also Hamariku, the very large park, which is uh, also uh, governed by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. And was Bloomberg located close to that? But it's actually in But there are of course many medical facilities also in the surrounds of Tsukiji. So it is very much a prime location within Tokyo. Uh, これ and until now, uh, this area has largely been looked at or considered as individual separate points, the market, the park, and the hospital, for example. However, in the vision looking forward, we want to look at this overall area comprehensively. で、and so when we consider how to best utilize this uh, latent potential which is in these individual sites within the area, we believe it's very important for it to provide a new imagination or a new, new image for this vision of Tokyo and also become a site for international exchange in the future as well. Uh, I believe the IR was not actually included within the drafts for the use of the site. で、このスワンに対して今あの都民の皆さんの意見を聞いているところでございまして、え、パブリックコメントの期間も今週に迫っておりますので、いろんな方々の意見を聞いてまいりたいと思います。and uh, we have been seeking the opinions of citizens in regards to the draft for the use of this site. Uh, the public comments which are now open will actually be until this week, so we are hoping to be able to incorporate or hear from as many different people in regards to this as we can. え、このパブリックコメントを経まして年度末までに、え、ま、地づくりの方針を取りまとめて、え、そして、ま、素案から方針にして、え、その後、民間事業者からの提案も受けるというのがこれからのあの、タイムラインになっています。
And so after receiving these public comments, we are looking to put forward the new plan for the use of the site by the end of the financial year. So shifting from the initial draft stages to a firm policy in regards to the uh, future of the site. And then from here, we will be also hearing from the proposals from our private corporations and so on in regards to this. So this is the time span that we are looking <coughs> at for, for this site. え、と短く え、知事の日記面も含めてですね、将来の国政の復帰とかですね、え、日本で初めての女性総理を目指す志はいまだにお持ちなのかということをお聞かせください。I am from your media television. I have two questions. One is in regards to the 2020 Olympic Games. Uh initially they were very much being framed as uh the recovery Olympics also looking at recovering from the Great East Japan earthquake and disaster as well. There are various steps for example which are being discussed about certain sports um, the competitions being held in Fukushima or Miyagi prefectures, also the Olympic flame starting from Fukushima, for example. But I believe also many citizens in Japan are hoping that there could be more connection to Tohoku, to the area that was impacted by the disaster. Uh, this may be an issue for the uh, Olympics organizing committee, but I would like to ask your personal view on, on this connection in the Olympics positioning in regards to the post-disaster recovery of Japan. And my second question is in regards to your own political activities in the future, also considering your second term as governor, uh, whether you do have an intention to return to the diet in the future, and if you still also uh, hold the uh, vision or hope to become Japan's first female prime minister. Thank you very much. あの、オリンピック 2020年 uh, first of all, in regards to the 2020 Games, there are two points which I am repeatedly uh, conveying in regards to this. First of all, that the Games will only be successful if the Paralympics are successful. And the second point, that the overall Games will only be successful if they are indeed the real recovery Olympics and Paralympics as well. So, uh, え、の再生エネルギーで、え、作られた、え、このエネルギーを水素に変えて、その水素を東京に持ってきて、その水素で選手村の一部を動かすということを進めております。and uh, in regards to positioning these as the recovery and reconstruction games, uh, of course, holding certain events in Fukushima or other areas which are impacted by the disaster is one uh, way of doing this. But as the metropolitan government of Tokyo, what we are also doing, for example, is using renewable energy, which is generated in Fukushima prefecture, uh, transforming this into hydrogen and bringing this to Tokyo to use to power the athlete's village, for example. So also having the recovery and reconstruction incorporated え、それ
、えー、ご招待をしているということで、あの被災地の若者たちに、えー、今度はエネルギーを送る、そのようなあサポートをしております。And、uh, while it's not directly related to the 2020 Games as such, but of course you're aware that the Tokyo Marathon will be taking place next month in March as well. There are many people hoping to enter this marathon, but one initiative of Tokyo actually is every year we invite 1,000 high school students from the areas affected by the disaster to join the 10 kilometer category run in the Tokyo、uh, Marathon. So this is a way for us to, in return, send energy to the youth from these areas as well. 2つ目の,あのご質問でありますが、今、私は2020年の大会の準備、これにもう集中しております。Question, Thank you. I'm Sarah Hussain from AFP.、Um, I wanted to ask you first if you could tell us.、Um, as you know, probably,、um, you've probably heard there have been some suggestions that the、uh, head of the Japanese Olympic Committee should step down because of the allegations that he's facing in France. I wonder if you could tell us、um, your personal opinion on that. I know it's not a decision for you to make necessarily, but whether you think that that's something he should do to prevent the situation overshadowing the Games. And then, secondly, if I can, you talked about、um, attracting finance to Tokyo. And I wondered if you're specifically targeting business. That might be considering leaving London because of Brexit, and if so, how you're doing that. AFP 通信のものです。2つほど質問がありますが、まずはあの、まあ、オリンピックの組織委員会の方で今あのパリなどでまあ,あの問題とされていることで、委員長の辞任という問題が今あのまあ、議論されているんですけれども、まあ、これはまあもちろんあの知事ご自身があのまあ、判断することではないんですけれども、辞任すべきかどうかというまあ、お考えについて教えてください。そして2つ目の質問の方なんですけれども、まあ、東京にあらゆるまあ,あの。あの金融などを誘致するっていうお話があったんですけれども、現在、例えばブレクシットの影響でロンドンから出ようとしているビジネスを東京に誘致するっていうことを考えられているのかについて教えてください。えー、まず最初の2020年大会関連のことでご質問いただきましたが、今問題になっているのは招致委員会の問題かと思います。そしてあのそれに関連して JOC の人事がどうなっていくのかについてはこの JOC の方でお話になることだと考えております。特使のも東京は2020年大会がしっかりと成功するための。努力に集中していきたいと思っております。Uh, so, in regards to the first question, this is, of course, an issue related to the、uh, well, invitation or bidding committee. This is an issue, of course, for the JOC. Therefore, as the government of Tokyo, we are looking at what efforts need to be made in order to ensure the success of the Games. それから2つ目の金融に関してですけれども、あのまあ、地域がロンドンと東京ではかなり違ってまいります。まあ、あの金融の世界はこうなんていうんですかね、その時差も結構。かなり大きな要素を占めていくので、えー、そのあたり、ロンドンで仕事をしていらした方々が、ヨーロッパ、欧州内のどこにするかをお決めなのは経営上の判断だと思います。ただ、あのロンドンでこれまで金融業を営んでこられた方が、この際、えー、東京で、えー、この、えー、活動されるという方々については、えー、東京都として、えー、誘致をするさまざまな準備を準備と言いますかさまざまなあサポートをいたしております東京でこのフィンテックなどを始められる方あのスタートアップ全く起業をする方についてそれぞれあのおワンストップの企業のサービスなどを,を,を,をいたしまして、金融のみならず、さまざまな産業の、まあ、外国企業がです、ねあの、東京で仕事をしやすくするというお手伝いをし、それによって、金融、そして産業、両方であの東京が、えー、この活性さらに活性化することを考えているところです。ぜひあの
、うん、ロンドンの皆さんも東京いらしていただきたい、えー、パリもいいと思いますけれどもあの<笑>、はい、あのロンドンから東京にいらしていただくことは大,賛成大歓迎でございます。As in regards to your second question, of course, in regards to finance, well, London and Tokyo are very different、uh, cities. And in the finance world, the issue of well, time zones and time differences is also a key point.、Uh, whether all those companies or firms which had until now been working in London would be considering, or for example, somewhere else within the European time zone to move to, that is an issue which would be up to the various、uh, managers or decision makers in these firms. However, for those people who have been in London until now and would be considering to move to Tokyo at this time, Timing. Well, if that is indeed the case, then we as Tokyo are prepared to support them、uh, in this move in any way possible. This is、uh, not limited, of course, only to the finance industry, but also looking at fintech or new startups as well.、Uh, we have, for example, set up a one stop service center for new startups、uh, here in Tokyo as well. Also, for、uh, foreign enterprises in other industries as well, we are looking at what、uh, initiatives、uh, we are implementing in order to make it easier for them to do business here in Tokyo or in Japan. Uh, therefore, we hope that these steps can help to make more active the finance and other industries here in Tokyo. And、uh, anybody in London who is considering, we would say you would be very welcome here in Tokyo. Of course, Paris is also okay, but please welcome to Tokyo. <laughs> Right, I think that's all we've got time for today. So、um, I'd like to thank Governor Koike very, very much for sparing the time out of her busy schedule with all the preparations she's got in hand.、Um, and as usual, I'd like to present her with、um, the one year's complimentary membership to our club. I hope that she'll come and join us in our very delicious Italian <laughs> restaurant. Uh, would everyone kindly remain in your seats while the governor、um, leaves the premises?